That book must be very precious to you. It, it, it reflects is. so much work on your part. Uh, I, I, let me explain a few things. I knew that his name was in there, Sid. And I couldn't prove it until I learned enough Hebrew to prove it. And as the Spirit of the Lord moved, he would direct me to a certain passage. He would tell me where the passage was. I would be outside praying and I'd come running into the house and my wife, Yaffa, would be sitting there and I said, the Lord has just showed me something. I must look it up in the Hebrew. I'd open the Hebrew scriptures and there would be the name of Yeshua over and over and over. And I just thank God that it, this is his work. This is not my work. And I give Jesus all the credit. Yaakov, one of the major tenets of Judaism is found in the Torah, in the book of Leviticus. Yes. It says, I have given the blood upon the altar as atonement for sin. It is the blood that makes atonement for sin. And we Jews, most of us don't know today, but when the temple was destroyed, we could not have the Jewish way of forgiveness of sin. It's, it says no clearly sacrifice. in Leviticus that it is the blood, nothing but the blood of an unblemished lamb that makes atonement for sin. So that is clear. No temple, that means no animal sacrifice. That's no right. animal sacrifice, that means no forgiveness of sin. So what the rabbis did is they had one of two choices. They could have recognized, as many did, I might add, and many Jewish people are coming to faith today, they, they could have recognized Yeshua as the Messiah. Certainly God would not leave his ancient Jewish people in the lurch. Or they could have invented a new form of Judaism called rabbinical Judaism. We know what many of our people did, unfortunately, and yes. today our people don't even think for themselves. They say whatever the rabbi says, That's tradition, exactly right. fiddler on the roof, how sad because it's the difference between no, the, knowing God that's right. or just the, believing He exists. The scripture, the Tanakh says that everyone shall know Him for themselves. They don't need to rely on anybody else and everyone will know Him one day. However, what's interesting when you're talking about the blood sacrifice and you're talking about the anointing of the high priest in the book of Leviticus or Vayikra in Hebrew. And you go to the 17th to the 21st chapter in that area explains all these things, talking about the blood sacrifice, talking about the anointing of the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, which was Aaron, Moses' brother at the time. And here, encoded in that message there, in that beautiful scripture, it says, Hendam Yeshua, and it means, behold the blood of Jesus. Oh, you realize what you've just said? Yes. Do you realize what Yaakov just said? I mean, if you don't, keep listening. I'm going to tell you, in the Torah, in the book of Leviticus, which says you must have an animal sacrifice in the temple, it states, behold the blood of Jesus. Mm. Let me say that again. Behold the blood of Jesus. Yaakov, you're a Jewish man like myself. There are many Jewish people that would say, Meshumad. Yes. Traitor. That's exactly right. Give up this Jesus. Come back to our community. What would you say? I'd say, no, there's no turning back. Once you've met him face to face, once you have an encounter with this wonderful Savior, you know, Jesus was more Jewish than anyone because he was kosher Jew. He was complete. He was 100% without sin. He was the design that God had designed for us to be like. And Yeshua come to fulfill it for us. He was God manifested in the flesh. Yeshua is the Son of God. There's no question. How can in I turn code, back? In code, have you found oh, Yeshua yes. is the Son of God? I also found Ben Yeshua. I found... Son of... Son of uh, uh, Yeshua the Son. Yeshua the Son, okay. And then I f found, uh, taken a book of uh, uh, Ruth, Sefer Ruth, the book of Ruth, Ruth? Uh, where it talks about Boaz as the kinsman redeemer. In there, every 12th letter, notice 12, 12 tribes represents right. 12. Every 12th letter in the first portion of the book of Ruth spells Melech Yeshua, means King mm. Jesus. Uh, there he is. <laughs> Listen, I can't think of a better way. <laughs> King, 
in the book of Ruth, yes. where the Gentiles were grafted in, because this That's is not exactly just a Jewish right. thing, <laughs> where the Gentiles were grafted in, it says, King Yeshua. King Yeshua. Oh, wow. King Yeshua. How about you? Is Yeshua, Jesus, your king? You see, God so loves the whole world. He started with his ancient Jewish people to reveal his Messiah. And his Ju ancient Jewish people were faithful to share the good news with the Goyim, with the Gentiles, as was predicted in Torah. A lot of people say Jews should not proselytize. Jews were created to tell the whole world about God. Whether you're Jewish or Gentile, isn't there something more to live for? Isn't there something more to life? If you really want to know God, know Him, then I want you to pray a prayer from a sincere heart with me right now. Hallelujah. Repeat this prayer out loud after me right now. Say, Dear Jesus, out loud, right? That's you. Dear Jesus, please forgive me for every sin I've ever committed. With your help, I turn from them. Jesus, I believe you died for my sins. I accept the blood of Jesus. And now that I am clean, I make Yeshua my Lord. And I ask you, Lord Yeshua, to come inside of me. Jesus, come inside of me. Take over my life. I love you, God. Amen.